Hi Virgo, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings, this is your What The Fuck reading for the 11th to the 17th of October. I'm also going to add to the end of this your Halloween special. So, um, I think the Earth signs have already gone up. They're taking so long to process that I'm just putting them up. Um, because they're, they're quite a bit longer than normal, so... Um, we're just going to get on with it. I have introduced a couple of new decks. Um, this one is Shame and Dreams by my favourite card author, um, Colette Baron Raid. And the artistry, I'll show you the box because the box is beautiful. The artistry is by Alberto Villodo. I think that's how you say it. Please forgive me, Alberto, if that's not how you say it. But the Shaman's Dreams Oracle. Do you know what? I sent for this deck because it just looked a bit different. And I have to say, I'm so incredibly pleased with it. Um, it works beautifully. So I'm just introducing it. and Because so, we've still got the other decks. You know what I'm like. I'm always um, investing in new decks. I absolutely adore them. I was going to do a run through on all the new decks that I've got. And... I've got to be honest with you, I've got so many projects going on, I just haven't got time. So if you see a deck that you'd like me to do a run through on the channel, um, please just let me know. Um, if there's something you'd really like me to show you, um, like maybe in a five minute video, and I haven't even lit any of your candles done, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, just let me know and I'll uh, put a video together. That is no biggie. Um, but for me to just do them willy nilly, especially while I'm so incredibly busy, um, is a bit of a daft thing to do. I do love that when that um, one lights up and it lights her face up. Okay. That's a bit better, a bit brighter. Did you see these gorgeous baby pumpkins oh my god the woman in the shop said to me you're not going to eat those are you I said well they're going to go on my reading table I've got a nice orange one and then I've got a nice white one and what I'm going to do is on uh, Samhain Halloween I am going to chop these up with butternut squash some onion um, and I am going to make myself a pumpkin soup because I just, I don't, I don't want them to go to waste, and they will, they'll perish, which is a shame. It's a shame I can't find somebody who can freeze dry them for me and keep them forever. Um, but yeah, so let's get your energy, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? What's their energy for this week? What do they need to know from the Shaman's Dream Oracle? And do you know what? For Taurus and Capricorn, these flew out. So why aren't you working for Virgo then? We are recording, aren't we? Oh, good. We might be here a while, Virgo. Right, let's take that one. Oh. Okay, I'll tell you, I'm going to take that one and I'm going to take that top one which was left on its own. So, my darlings, you've got covenant, sacred contract. Oh, my goodness. I'm wondering if you need to be thinking about the Acacia record. You know how I feel about the number sevens in the tarot decks? Um, they're your blessings. They're your gifts. They're your choices, your options, all of those sort of things. But this covenant, this sacred contract could be between you and your divine it could be between you and a soulmate and please don't go and go oh soulmate yeah okay soulmates come in many different guises darling um a soulmate doesn't necessarily even have to be human to be your soulmate um you can have animals that are your soulmates you can have a tree that is your soulmate um best friends um, I have got at least two that I know of that are soul connections 
and we definitely knew each other in other lifetimes um because one we we adore each other we do and then the other one we find each other extremely frustrating but we're getting there with each other this lifetime i think we've tolerated each other very well so if that's you if you've got some friendships that you really think are worthwhile they could be soul contracts and you could have something to do um around that relationship there could be some work to do but also no it can be a love contract of course it can um i'm not going to get into the twin flame things i do not personally believe that twin flames incarnate together in the same lifetime i just don't if you go and read a plato um and all the works around that then you'll have a better understanding of what it is that they talk about with twin flames i believe that your twin flame remains in um the spirit world so that they are able to help you more readily while you experience the human condition um so then it's left to the soulmates um to come in and you know and people go oh it's a karmic what the fuck does that mean everybody comes into your life for a reason it doesn't mean they're a karmic doesn't mean it serves you right because that's what the other readers are saying basically it serves you right you had to go through that to have this lesson well you may have had to have had that lesson you may need that lesson but it doesn't mean that you have to go through hell and back to receive it um so i don't believe in that term either so know that before we come here we ask people to do certain things with us we get into contracts with other people um other souls and then when we come here we stumble across these people for whatever reason we meet them in the playground we meet them walking along the street we meet them in the supermarket we meet them all sorts of different ways shapes and means it doesn't matter how you meet them you meet them at church you meet them at work you meet them it doesn't matter once they come into your life some of them will stay for a long time because that's your soul contract and some of them will pass through your life really quickly and that's no different between a friend and a lover it isn't it just isn't so just know that if if there is someone that you really connected to um it may be the soul contract that if they've left your life that it's it's learning to let go it's learning um, how to protect yourself. All of those sorts of things. So know that a soul contract is really, really sacred contract. Really important in our lives to recognise it. But the best way to recognise um, sacred contracts or soul contracts is to have a look at the Kashyyyk records and learn to do that meditation. Because that's really important. And what was I just saying about Akashic Records? Deep, quiet, meditation and stillness. Well, to access the Akashic Records, if you want to learn how to do it, um, you need deep, quiet. And this is a number 11 card. This is the learning card in numerology. Learn, you've got these base numbers in numerology, 11, 22, 33, 44, etc. The higher they get, the closer to the divine you are. The lower they are, the more of a learning thing that you've got to do. So number 11 is right at the bottom. Um, and I'm a number 11. And believe me, I've had a lot of things to learn. I have. But now, later on in life, I am turning it around and I am teaching the things that I have learned. So true to form, I am a true 11. Um, I've actually met somebody who's a 22. Um and they're rarer than an 11, they are, um, but they don't recognise that they're a 22, they have got no aspirations around spirituality whatsoever, so yeah, it's one of those things, it depends on your life's trajectory for this lifetime, and not what people think that you should be doing, um, it's your journey, so make sure that if you have got one of these sacred contracts, or you think you have try to meditate on it try to take yourself um maybe to the akashic records maybe just to a safe place 
where you can absolutely tap into what that sacred contract actually might be. So, darlings, let's get on with your what the fuck portion of the reading. I have bought the most amazing, I keep flitting, don't I? Amazing new tarot deck and I'm itching to use it. Um, so I might introduce it on what the fuck um, and just give the witches, the green witch tarot a wet rest for a little while. So we've got what started your what the fuck. And then facing your fears and taking your power back. The Virgo for the 11th to the 17th of October, please. your manifestation and wish fulfillment i have to say there's quite a few cards there movement and journey what you can do crikey these are coming out fast and furious aren't they what's out of virgo's hands for this week Reconnecting to the true you and your outcome. So, my darlings, what starts your what the fuck? Now, when I laid this card down, I got a clear message for you. And what I heard was, now, normally, this is my charity card, you know it is. And it's about kind words and doing, like, nice little things for people, speaking to people, smiling to people, that sort of thing. But I heard clearly that you have given... Um, an awful lot and nothing is coming back your way and this particular um, episode where you gave freely you know you weren't expecting anything back at all um, this one this person male or female just kept fucking taking they just kept taking um, and I'm getting that you got really hacked off with this i'm not surprised to be honest with you i am not surprised um it's not like you've got a lot of extra money or a lot of extra emotion at the moment nothing like that but you just felt this person was a deserving case and you just felt that you was doing a kind deed that's what you was doing um, and unfortunately, like an energy vampire, they came along and zapped you one. Um, and it's left you a bit of taste in your mouth. But darling, listen, for every person who's going to come along and zap you one, there's three or four people that wished that they had been in that position, that, that you'd be giving that attention, that kindness to them. So just be aware of that. What you did on your part was absolutely right. This is nothing to do with you. This is everything to do with the other person. They are broken. And I'm not looking at this beautiful creature here. I'm looking at this creature here. This is going to be somebody who comes across as if they've got it together. They've got the world together. They know what they're doing. They, they know their shit according to them. And in actual fact, they know jack shit. That's a term we use in the UK, sorry, the States. Um, they, they know nothing. And what they've done is they've sapped your energy and they've sapped what it is that you've been offering to them. I'm not sure that you've been offering them money, but definitely emotional support. And I'm getting that they fucking drained you. I, I really am. And I just heard physical. So this may have been... You may have been doing something like house cleaning for this person, pushing cars, I don't know, whatever. 
but yet yeah, know that this was nothing to do with you. They may have turned around and said that it was to do with you. Bollocks. Absolute bullshit. Absolute fucking bollocks. Nothing to do with you. Everything to do with them. And lovelies, when I laid this card down, this is facing your fears and taking your power back. Now, normally I'd say she you check your taxes, check them coming in, check them going out, da, da, da. No, you made it very clear, very clear. You communicated very well about what was pissing you off and what, um, and what it, what it was that, kind of tip the scales like the balance to wrong this is clear community I and mean, i'm getting that it was very quick this happened all very quickly and it's kind of left you stunned a little bit but your communication was clear it was them that were fucking about not you so virgo you know and i'm getting that communication with a virgo you're very grounded um but you may have some fiery elements within your chart and i'm getting that that bought the fiery elements out for you it did it was kind of like don't fuck with me because i've done my best for you just don't go there you know i've been been seen it done it and i'm giving you fair warning and i think you did give them fair warning you communicated very clearly about what it was that you were unhappy about and this person has still blamed you for whatever's happened that's not your problem it isn't. You just need to let them fuck off. You really do. Let them go. Block them from your phone. Block them from your social media. Do not keep communication lines open with this person. And don't. And if people are sending you shit about what they're saying or what they're doing, give those people fair warning as well that if they keep this up, you will block them as well. And do it. You know, the, the number one, okay, you need the warning. Number two, you're gone. Fucking kick them to the curb. Absolutely. And I'm getting the, you know, you're, you're, the frustration, I can feel your frustration because you really wanted to help out and it's just backfired on you. Okay, so your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, why it may be fucked. I don't think it's fucked at all, but there's a lot of it, so let's get through it. You really want to do things for yourself. You want to be independent. You want those chalices for you. You want your own passion and desire to be seen, and you want to see your own future. And not the future of somebody else who's put a dream in your head, and it doesn't actually belong to you. So now... You're asking for a time out to kick back and think about things. The moon is coming along to show you either illusion or illumination. There may be a distortion around, but you're asking for clarity around that issue to the point where you have dragged in the king of a thames. Now, if this some is somebody around you, they're going to teach you well. Because they, they're no nonsense. They don't put up with bullshit. They don't put up with he said, she said. All of that fucking bollocks. They want the bare facts and they want to cut things out as quickly as possible. Painful as it may be, it's like ripping a plaster off. Once it's done, it's fucking done. And this is what this king's all about. He's all about legalities as well. So it may be that it will go to something legal. They're a contract. Sacred contract. A contract. Now, if that's not somebody around you, that may be what you're manifesting, how you want to deal with something, and rightly so. And then that leads you to make a decision. This is what you're manifesting. This is your wish. You're wishing you could walk away. You want to walk away. You want to remember the lessons learned because you're looking over your shoulder, but you want to walk away to a brand new life. You also are manifesting... Um, protecting yourself you're manifesting like putting your hands either side of those ones that's your projects your plans and going actually no i'm not letting anybody in because i am done with this shit so you want to do it for yourself you know that you need to protect yourself and everything in between um i have to say i don't think there's lots of manifestations there i think it's the same manifestation but there's lots of elements that are going to that so whatever project or plan that you have got on the boil keep it to yourself don't tell too many people about it and if you told this person about it 
put it under wraps now. If anybody comes back and says, oh, I hear you're doing so-and-so, just deny all knowledge. Oh, where did you get that from? I've got a clue. Do you know, and sometimes just bare face lying has got a place. It has. I'm not an advocate for lying. I hate it. I can't bear it. But I have to say, if you're trying to protect because you want to do this for yourself, then you need to protect it. You need to protect it. I'm wondering if you're feeling that people are going to be stealing ideas or perhaps they have stolen ideas. Um, write them down, copy, write them to you and post them to yourself. Don't open the envelope. That copyrights it to you. Your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. The high priest beckons you in to the standing stones for protection. He's reminding you to draw energy down from the sun and he is reminding you that tradition, being traditional is okay. You don't have to think outside the circle or outside the stones. You don't have to make it up as you're going along. If you feel comfortable with tradition, traditional values, traditional ways of being, traditional magic, it doesn't matter, traditional beliefs, it doesn't matter, he's saying it's okay, that's your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, you need to understand that it's okay, because that is part of your journey, so what you can do about this situation, there's been a tower moment, it's been and gone, now the decision has to be made, this is the wild hunt, you have thrown the light into that hunt to highlight who started this bullshit and this bollocks? And now it's your decision to either sweep this dex clean to rebuild or not to rebuild. What is it you're going to do? My guess is, is not to rebuild, is to move on to somewhere else and just sweep this away. Because I don't think it is serving you at all. And the universe, what you've got no control over this week is the star. And I heard that, I, I've, I did chuckle because I've not heard this before, but it was funny. I heard them say to me, if you don't get into that fucking water, we're going to push you in. It is that important for you to heal from this. It is that important to lick your wounds and understand that these waters are, et are eternal. This isn't about having a dip, a quick dip in the shower um, and it's going to wash everything away. This is going to take some time. And this fairy is saying, come on, it's time to get in. And the universe is saying, if you don't get in, I'm going to push you in. Simple as that. They're a bit hacked about this. They're not hacked with you, but they're hacked about what's happened to you. Because I'm kind of getting the feeling this shouldn't have happened. I'm kind of getting the feeling this, this person shouldn't have, have come across you. They shouldn't have been part of your life and I'm kind of getting this person may have found their way to you through a third party so the universe is then saying what else is out of your hands is your wish fulfillment at the moment until you've done that precious healing and you have got to do it but my darlings you have got the page of pentacles reconnecting to your true self whether it is formal learning or informal learning, there is something that you have wanted to do that will add to your toolkit, whatever it is that you do. Um, and you know that you are never happier than when you've got your hands on something, doing something, writing something, painting something, digging something, making something beautiful, giving something its own clear space. Look how beautifully laid out those um, tolls are. This this would not be my house. This would not be my house. I swear to God. I am a Libra and I would rather watch paint dry than have a tidy place. I swear. Uh, but this is so you. Um, and it's almost like they're saying to you, come on, it's okay to reach back to the younger you to bring forward that enthusiasm that passion that desire to actually get something done for you um right now because you need it you do need it now my lovelies your outcome 
you've got the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is like this best mate that you've got. She really is. She's like, you know, only your best mate can tell you if you've got a bogey hanging from your nose. Only your best mate can tell you that you're absolutely fucking beautiful and really mean it because they wouldn't walk down the street with you if you weren't. Do you see what I mean? So this queen sits here. She's got all the passion and the desire in the world. She knows how to wave that wand. She knows how to make magic, but she also knows how to make fucking mischief. And I don't mean the, the nasty mischief. I mean mischief. She's the one that's going to go out with you in the middle of the night to track down somebody to see where they, they live, where they're at, that sort of thing. Um just so that you know you know there's nothing sinister you just want to know where they're from um this is this is your i don't know this this is this is sort of like what what was that bloody film shirley and whatever i can't remember now shirley but no it's not shirley valentine anyway um yeah so this is your busy mate now male or female i have to say uh, male or female but they know that they can make magic and they want to make magic for you and this is your outcome they're saying to you come on i've got this wand it's no fucking use if i can't use it for good for me mates so if there is a fire sign around you that's going to be aries leo or sag or they may just have fire within their chart and come across that they've got this passion this desire to help you get through all of this crap and it it was crap yeah you're still a little bit undecided with the eight of chalices which route you want to take but the chalices are in the upright the sun is shining just remember a journey starts with one step lovelies one step that's all it takes um and i don't think it's quite as much that you are confused as what route to take it's more like maybe both routes look so enticing so enticing and um, the only one thing that i will say to you is, is once you start down a road do not reverse back up don't do it to yourself so let's just ask the star seed for a card thank you and virgo you have patience be patient and allow destiny to unfold as at its own pace and do you know what i'm going to say to you be patient with yourself i am getting that there is a degree of frustration here and it is aimed at yourself don't do that the frustration shouldn't be aimed at you so ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge wisdom and guidance for the 11th through to the 17th of october Okay. Brilliant. So your first card that came out. Arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. I am not fucking surprised. Traveller, move in a new direction. Fire Guardian, ignite your passion. We've already been talking about that, haven't we? And Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Darling, if you know you're right, you don't have to say it. Just let let it go. Just let it go. You don't need other people to know that you are right, wrong or indifferent. You just don't. So what I've been doing, I've just been shuffling the Gaia deck. Um, for the Halloween reading if you like what I do darlings please um, like or dislike they both are interactions they both get the algorithms going um, please subscribe and hit the bell um, and I love to get messages so leave me a message tell me how you feel about the reading so I've just been shuffling the cards getting the cards out for the Halloween reading and we're using the Gaia deck and oh yes i forgot i've got another new deck for you today um hidden worlds deck it is a beautiful now this halloween reading as you know halloween for the witches is Samhain. it is our where the veil is the thinnest and the two worlds the other world and this world come together um 
in celebration twofold one is to celebrate um, the wheel of the year it's to celebrate the cycle finishing and it's to also after midnight on the 31st and we go into the first which is November is our new year Ooh, nice okay my lovelies so just as you're reconnecting to your true self your Halloween reading and I'm going to say that this will last for the year Halloween to Halloween you have knowledge you have a thirst for something can be formal can be informal can be something that maybe is ancestral maybe it could be something um, quite theatrical if you look at the way he's got his finger up and he's kind of like ah oh. um, yeah it could be that you want to learn something in the art so just keep that in mind you've got that to reconnect to yourself and you've got knowledge here as well now knowledge comes in all forms it doesn't have to be formal it can be informal i'm going to come down this route first you have the child this is like the full card and it's telling you it's time to take a leap of faith it really is it's time to act in that innocence you don't know what this is going to lead to you don't know what open doors and directions are going to take you to and you just need to take where did that card go no idea okay i think it might be amongst that just take the leap of faith to surge yourself forward oh it's there this one that's what i was looking for what's hidden from you you not wanting to take that step forward take that leap of faith because as you come into the three of pentacles or the three of earth you are sowing beautiful seeds my darlings now some seeds we see in our lifetimes we do we watch them grow we watch them come to fruition um, but some seeds we grow take a lifetime to grow and some of us may not get to see that great oak that we planted but our descendants may so do not think that a seed is not worth sowing because it may not be for you to see it may be for others to see and take shade from at a later date um but you are sowing seeds beautifully um, and you are in collaboration with the earth around this. You've got a lovely little red squirrel there who's very patiently wanting you to plant those acorns because he knows, he knows that his descendants are going to need acorn trees the same as the descendants of the human beings. So coming down this side, again, you've got a healing card. Your chakras are in alignment. This is the six of air um, this staff here is the healing staff this is you allowing yourself to bring this light right through the crown of your head right through down all of your chakras in a very healing manner there is wisdom here to know that there is dark and light in all of us every single one of us and it's bringing that dark and light into balance that make us well adjusted. So when you're doing your healing, know that it's okay to blurt out that you fucking hate somebody at occasions. It's not okay to act on it, but it's okay in your own presence to really go for it. But then you bring yourself back into balance with the white and the dark. And you just lay it to rest, write it down, put it in a, a fire, not the person, a piece of paper. Um, but know that when you're healing, it is all to do, not just to do balance of dark and light, but balancing everything that we do. If we are in imbalance, that's when we cause ourselves to become unwell. Um, and the imbalance shows through a whole different range of things from migraines and stress and anxiety to 
um, depression and literally manifesting some very nasty diseases. And the reason that I say that is because one of the things that happens to me quite, not quite regularly, every couple of years, I get myself in such a state that I have pancreatic attack. Not a nice thing to have, but I'm also very well aware that I'm very lucky to have survived three of those attacks, nasty ones. Um, so, yeah, so just know that when you bring yourself into balance, you do it on every level, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and sensual. So coming down this side, love this, Virgo. This year is all about knowledge and taking leaps of faith. It is. It is healing, knowledge, leaps of faith. And here you are, Virgo. This is you. This is the mother. And there you are, sitting on your throne, looking over your kingdom with great pride, knowing that you have loved and nurtured every single person and creature within that realm. Beautifully. It could be fertility. There could be a pregnancy around you. It could be. Fertility is not just about pregnancy, though. Fertility is the fertility of thought, action, growth, all of those things. So just know that for you, there's a growing spurt is going to happen. Oh my gosh. Where was that card? There. Your manifestation, my darlings. You wanting to do this for yourself. You wanting those chalices for you. Having that passion for you. Seeing your own future and not the dreams of others. And here you are with the nine of water, exactly the same card. Your heart chakra is a light because you can say by looking up through that ocean, through that thing, you can see the light and that is shining down upon you, telling me that you are, you are going to do this for yourself. And this year, Halloween's Halloween, this is going to be your year, darling. It's going to be your year. How gorgeous is that? I'm just going to get the um, Worlds of Hidden Realms. It's this beautiful deck here. And it's by Lucy Cavendish. And it is, um, artwork is by Gilbert Williams. Beautiful artwork, I have to say, Gilbert. So, let's ask... The hidden realms for some cards for Virgo. They've been really tight with your cards, haven't they? Hours. Thank you. Anything else for that? Oh, I am not taking that many. Oh, sensible. All right, they want me to take a whole pile. This time they're on the floor, Virgo, so I've got no choice but to take them. Okay, so we're going to start with the number one card. And that is the pathway, direction, purpose, and change. And that's exactly what we've been talking about um, when you've got this card, direction. Or when you've got this card, purpose. And the reconnecting to your true self. And what was the other thing? And change, that's the knowledge and the taking that leap of faith. Wow, these are beautiful cards, darling. You have got the liminal dance, delicacy, fragility, and transience. Wow. Wow, something is sensitive within you. Something is sensitive. Something can hit a raw nerve with you. And I'm not going to tell you to work on that and make yourself a bit tougher because I think you need that. I think that reminds you 
of the human condition. I think it reminds you that there is a delicate side to you, male or female, that there is this fragile element within you. Um, but it does, it helps you transition away from that harshness. I wonder if that's why you've got the two sides there. Wow, beautiful. Look at this card, darlings. The gathering, community, kinship and companionship. It says that there's going to be a gathering of like minds. So if you are tapping into um, a different crowd, a different set of people, I can't say that they're wrong for you. I do get that they are like-minded to you. Sacred journey. Look at that beautiful pathway lit to that crystal. Introversion, seeker, self-knowledge. What are we talking about knowledge all through your reading? We really have. Let's just pop that one up there. And then we have the dolphin caller. Wow. Pure, joyful friendships and loving help. Now, I'm getting that that is your fire sign straight away. And these people, these these ones here, and the sacred journey of the time. Oh, wow. Look at this Taj Mahal. The healing temple of the lunar light. Life cycles, energy, healing and communication. What was I saying about the universe? If you don't step into that water, they're going to push you. The angel gate. Oh, this gorgeous card. These cards are stunning. Cleansing, protection and blessing. The path of the gods. Decisions, meetings, future plans. Wow. Wow. Wow, what a reading, Virgo. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Whoever is res this is uh, resonate. Whoever this you feel this is your reading, let me know. Let me know and thank you for sharing it with me because this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I have to say all the earth signs have had really good spiritual readings, and I'm getting that. One part of this is spiritual, but I think you're not going to know yourself physically and mentally and possibly even emotionally in the coming months. You are going to make such a change to yourself. Darlings, listen, wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.